Welcome to the CNOS Foundation Game of the Week. comes the kick it's blocked ball is up in the air the Crusaders will recover they will have the football on the 15 yard line how about that what a play and uh, pretty darn good I believe that's Jordy Maxson that was uh, doing the kicking I think he switched numbers on us showing an offset eye with Kale at the fullback Tobin at the tail here comes a handoff play action roll out right side he looks fires caught Touchdown, Healing Crusaders. They get on the board first, and a nice sliding catch. Joe Kale has been the man. I tell you what, he's showing that he's a very capable young man coming out of that backfield as a second receiver. I'm not sure if this play was designed for him, but Salzma finds his second man and throws it just low enough to where only his receiver is going to come up with it. Kale does a great job of going down on the knee to make that sliding catch, and most importantly for the Crusaders, they get a touchdown. Here we go, back to pass, looking, has time, now scrambles to his left, and he tried to throw it, ball is on the ground, it's a scramble, is it a fumble? We'll wait until the officials determine, did the ball go forward, was it incomplete? This is all up to the officials right now. Yeah, this is going to be a, a It is one. Gila Crusader football, they say they got the arm before he pushed it forward. As he rolled out right side, he cocks back, yep. and he did not get the ball forward. Uh, that is a good call. Heelan has it first down and 10, and that will be the first turnover of the ball game, and Heelan has it on their uh, the East High Black Raider 30. And that's Ben Wonkham forcing the fumble for the Crusaders. Good pressure, good pursuit from the backside, and that's a good call by the official because Kerwin clearly was just cocking that arm, getting ready to throw, and Wonkham was able to knock that ball free. Motion into the backfield right now is Connor Niles. Here comes the option and a reverse play looking for some blocking room. Cutting around one into the end zone and that is going to be and Philip Jacobson. Finally we see him with the ball and he only does good things with the ball. On the end around and a reverse. Jacobson trots into the end zone. First time he touches the ball all night and he does exactly what you think he's going to. He scores. That's a great job by Philip Jacobson, a good strong run. He's able to get around the end, he gets some good downfield blocking, and then he just outruns the defense to the end zone. And Philip Jacobson, a young man that they're looking for big things out of as they run the reverse. And you watch later in this game, you could see that same play with a pass coming out of it. We'll try it again, second and goal from the two, and here comes Kerwin again. It's gonna be close, it's a touchdown! East High Black Raiders, a three yard, three yard touchdown reg. Greg Kerwin gets the Black Raiders on the board. And there, once again, the strength of Kerwin allowing him to get into the end zone. He gets a good block from his lineman, Sattel, and he follows right off his backside into the end zone for the Black Raiders' first touchdown of the season. That's going to be a nine-play, 65-yard drive for the crew, excuse me, for the Black Raiders. Extra point try is up. Extra point try is good. Yes. Here's Salzma ready to go, second down and goal after a couple yard loss. Play action rolling out right side, has a man wide open, touchdown! That is Kale. Joe Kale wide open and a touchdown for the Crusaders. Well, this is a great job once again by the Crusaders. Salzma carrying out the fakes. He really gets the defense to bite and he lays it out there to a wide open Kale. There was nobody that picked up the back out of the backfield. There's a definite uh, coverage mistake by the Black Raider defense. Yeah, they rolled off nicely from the line. Here comes the extra point try. Sir will try to get it through the uprights right now. And he's got some snazzy looking shoes, orange and gold. <laughs> Here's the kick, it's up, it's on the way. It is good. And the Healing Crusaders add to their lead. They lead right now 20 to seven on the Screen Pro scoreboard. Here we go, second down and goal though for East. Hand off, Carter right side into the end zone. Touchdown, Black Raiders. Well, the Black Raiders really establishing that running game on this drive. It was either Kerwin or Carter with the carry. This time, Carter just shows great speed and gets into the end zone. Eight play drive for the Black Raiders and 62 yards down the field. For under center is Solzma, play action, rolls, fires, intercepted at the 25 by the uh, 
East High Black Raiders, J.J. Stevens will come up with it. First turnover for Heelan, it's one apiece. And now the Black Raiders are in business, first and 10 on the Black, excuse me, Heelan Crusader make that 18 yard line. And it's Chase Kern who causes this turnover as he comes on a full out bull rush as he hits Salzman just as he delivers that football. And then it's Stevens who is the recipient of a big play by his defensive end, Chase Kern coming up with the interception. Back and forth we go on momentum. 152 until halftime, 20 to 14. Healing on top, but now the Black Raiders in business, red zone, 18 yard line. Here's the play going to Kerwin, hands off to Ronald Carter up the middle, has breaks a tackle, touchdown! East High Black Raiders so quick with the football, cutting back and forth. Ronald Carter back to back touchdowns, and now East is an extra point from taking their first lead of this contest. What a momentum changer. You look right there, you think that the Black Raiders could be in trouble with Ronald Nash on the sideline, one of their leaders. And the running game for the Black Raiders takes over and is very effective. They get the big turnover, they take advantage of it, and they stick it in the end zone. Extra point try, kick is up, kick is no good. We're tied at 20. We'll take a break. We'll be back. The CNOS Game of the Week also presented by U.S. Bank. Salzma under center. Here's the play. Play action. Looks. Dumps it into left corner. The end zone up for grabs. Touchdown, Heelan Crusaders. Two bodies went up. Connor Niles comes down, and the Crusaders take the lead with a seven-yard touchdown pass. That's a great job. Just run that fade pattern to Niles into the corner of the end zone, and Niles does a good job of establishing position. He's able to slip in front of the defender to make the catch. Salzma to Connor Niles, a seven-yard strike, and the Crusaders retake the lead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven plays, 70 yards for the Heelan Crusaders. And right now looking for an extra point. All the extra points, very important. Snap is down, kick is up, kick is on the way. Kick is good. And our score on the Screen Pro scoreboard, it's Heelan 27 and East 20. We'll be back after this. You're listening to the CNOS Game of the Week, also presented by U.S. Bank. You don't want to rough the kicker in this situation, though. Here they come. Over the top of the punter and out of the end zone. That is a safety. And the East High Black Raiders finally score in the second half because their defense and special teams are doing the job. Uh, that could come up huge down the stretch here for the Black Raiders. A great job by the defense to pin Heelan deep. And they get the turnover or the uh, bad snap they were hoping for. Right out of the back of the end zone for a safety. A terrific game. And only nine points scored in the second half. Great defense on both sides. Outstanding effort, East High. Outstanding effort, Healing. We saw a doozy here to start the season.